hijack SmackDown. There's a loud minority of pro wrestling fans on the IWC who want the Portland crowd to hijack tonight. SmackDown with fire Vince Chance, all because Vince might be back as lead of creative with the final say over what Triple H wants. Now, I agree, I don't want Vince in this position, but hijacking a show is not the way to go about asking for change and not wanting what they want. Still going to the show that you paid money for does not tell the new owners that you want change. You're telling them regardless of what they're going to do, you're still going to go, but just be angry about it. You want to tell them by not watching the show, by not going to the show, don't give them the money, don't give them the viewership. Because when you hurt them that way, that's the way to let them know like they don't like what's happening. I guarantee we'll still see a .6 rating on SmackDown tonight, which has been insane for them the last three months. Hell, Raw still had damn great viewership in their third hour, even with fans tuning out on Monday. And that's for the show that everyone said that they didn't like. That's because that we're a small minority of fans on the internet. WWE has such a large casual fan base that not all of them are on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, reading all the behind the news stuff, this, all the Vinnie Mac stuff. They don't read that. Maybe they see the whole allegation stuff, but you know what? To them, that was eight months ago, and he's back. This is why this is destined to fail. You guys need to let them know with your viewership by not tuning in. If you're really that upset that Vince is more than likely back in charge, you need to not watch. You need to not buy tickets to go to the show. Otherwise, Endeavor's like, they're still watching. They're still coming to our shows. We don't give a fuck what they chant. That's how that's going to work. Don't watch if you're that mad.